Time now for First Alert Weather with meteorologist Kyle Kleckner. Well, welcome back. You've made it to Friday. Thanks for waking up with us this morning. Heading out the door, you're going to find more warm temperatures this morning and then some very hot temperatures yet again this afternoon. One more day of these earth shattering temperatures this afternoon in the hundreds, but we'll be starting off in the 70s. A little cloud cover potential this morning, but we'll be clearing out for the rest of the day. 90s potentially by the lunch hour. In fact, mid 90s possible by then. We'll be topping out in the low hundreds for many of us this afternoon. Live look now at Broken Bow and Riviera wireless camera. Nice sunrise taking place this morning. 71 degrees, winds fairly light out of the north northwest, nine miles an hour right now. And it is a little humid out there, not nearly as bad as it has been the last couple of days. Those humidity values well over 80% for some of us, but just 71% there. Temperatures still pretty warm, 60s and 70s as we start off our morning. Just 63 up in Thedford, a little warmer off to the south and east yet again. 67 currently Lexington, 75 Kearney, 76 Hebrews, 79 at Lincoln. So some warm temperatures once more. Dew point temperatures not nearly as bad as we have seen the last few days once once again, but still uh, 60s and some cooler dew points off to our west. So 50s out there, but still a little bit of a muggy morning this morning. And with that said, do have heat advisors in place for a good swath of us till eight, nine o'clock tonight and excessive heat warning also in place for southern and eastern areas till nine o'clock tonight. So those feels like temperatures once more could be that 110 to 115 degree range this afternoon. So make sure you stay hydrated, drink lots of water, you know, stay inside if you have to. Otherwise, wind speed's pretty light today. It's not really going to help these this heat that we're going to have again today out of the north and west right now, five to 10 miles an hour for the most part, and we'll shift out of the west and then the south later this afternoon around that same range. Satellite and radar, not much happening right now. Be a couple light showers off in the panhandle, but uh, most states should be dry. A little cloud cover this morning. Speaking of that dry weather, the drought monitor released yesterday morning, pretty much identical to last week. A couple improvements in the severe and extreme categories, but still looks very similar, very dry, especially in the eastern half of the state. The good news is, do have more rain potential. Bad news is more severe potential. We don't need that severe weather right now, at least with all the crops looking real good. Marginal risk right now across much of us, and then. Slight risk farther north, and then tomorrow even could be tracking more of that severe weather as well. Slight risk for northern and western areas. Potential for that cold front to work its way off to the south way this afternoon. The overnight hours tonight could see that rain chance make its way into the picture, and then even tomorrow could see that lingering chance of those showers and storms as we head throughout the rest of the day. But I think these next couple of days mainly dry. 102 for a high today is going to be a warm one, an absolute scorcher. And yeah, here we go. Hundreds across the board. A few 90s farther north and west, but still it's going to be very hot. Temperatures do cool down after that cold front moves through tomorrow night, or excuse me, tonight rather. Um, temperatures do kind of cool down for the weekend, but we do see a gradual warm up heading into the early part of next week. 98 by Tuesday and 96 Wednesday, but I think warm by next Thursday could see that uh, heat wave finally begin to break down.